Long before Mae West became a household name in Hollywood, she was making waves in Broadway with her daring plays and bold persona. Even before that, she faced trouble for her scandalous work. But Mae West didn't let that stop her. Instead, she used it to build her unique image and establish herself as a force to be reckoned with. During the 1930s, Mae West was known for her naughty talk and sassy walk. But her journey to stardom was not without its challenges. In fact, before she became a successful movie star, she faced backlash for her racy plays. One of her most controversial works, Sex, even landed her in jail. But Mae West didn't let a little thing like jail time get in the way of her dreams. Instead, she used it to her advantage, drawing even more attention to herself and her work. Mae West's story is a testament to the power of resilience and the importance of staying true to oneself. Even in the face of adversity, she continued to push boundaries and create her own path. Today, Mae West's legacy lives on, inspiring generations of artists and performers to take risks and be true to themselves. So why not explore more vintage mysteries and take our Golden Age quiz to test your knowledge about the past? Who knows, you might just learn something new about this classic era and the trailblazing women who shaped it. Mae West was a true trailblazer in the world of early 20th century showbiz. She was not just a beautiful woman, but also confident, witty, and hardworking. In fact, she even wrote her own scripts, often filled with funny lines that showcased her unique sense of humor. At a time when the entertainment industry was dominated by men, Mae West smashed through barriers and succeeded in a big way. Her path to glory was not always easy, however. She faced her share of shadows and challenges along the way. One of Mae West's most famous quotes is sex is emotion in motion, a phrase that got everyone talking. She wasn't afraid to speak her mind or express herself openly, and honestly, this unapologetic self-expression earned her both admiration and criticism, but she never let that stop her. Despite the obstacles in her way, Mae West persevered and became a true icon in the world of film and theater. Her legacy lives on to this day, and her classic films and shows continue to inspire and entertain audiences around the world. So if you're looking for a story of audacity, resilience, and unapologetic self-expression, look no further than the life and career of Mae West. You're sure to come away with a newfound appreciation for this trailblazing actress and her many contributions to the world of entertainment. Back in the early 20th century, when societal norms were much stricter, Mae West was a woman who didn't follow the rules. She was open about her feelings and had many romantic relationships. This was quite bold for a woman during that time. Mae West didn't take kindly to men trying to boss her around. She was an independent spirit who lived life on her own terms. Even more daring for her time, she had boyfriends who were African-American. She didn't let anyone dictate how she should live. In an era when marriage was highly valued, Mae West had a unique perspective. She once said, Marriage is a great institution, but I'm not ready for an institution. This statement speaks volumes about her independent nature and refusal to conform to societal expectations. In her films and shows, Mae West pushed boundaries and challenged norms. Her boldness and confidence were captivating, making her a classic icon of her time. She made her own rules and lived life authentically, inspiring others to do the same. Mae West, even at a young age, showed a clear interest in the world of acting. At just five years old, she took her first steps into this world, revealing a diva-like behavior that would become her trademark. She was determined to prove herself through hard work and a keen focus on her appearance. As she grew older, Mae West's hunger for fame only intensified. She was known for her obsession with her own appearance, often refusing to leave the house unless she was all dolled up. But this wasn't just about vanity. Mae West was ready to work hard to make a name for herself in the entertainment industry. In the 1930s, Mae West became a huge star, gracing the stage and screen with her unique style and personality. She even helped to rescue Paramount Studios from bankruptcy during this time. But Mae West's impact went beyond just her own success. She was also a strong advocate for women's equality in Hollywood. Despite facing numerous challenges and obstacles in the industry, Mae West pushed for women to be treated equally with men. She refused to be held back by the limitations placed on her because of her gender, and instead used her platform to speak out for change. In the end, Mae West's impact on Hollywood cannot be overstated. She was a trailblazer and a pioneer, paving the way for future generations of women in the entertainment industry. And long before she became a household name, Mae West was already showing the world what she was made of, a diva with a hunger for fame and a determination to succeed. 
Mae West's journey into showbiz began with a single burning desire fame. As a young girl, she was already focused on the entertainment world, and by the time she reached third grade, school had taken a back seat to her dreams. Instead of textbooks, she opted for a different kind of education, a few short weeks at a dance academy, followed by stepping onto the stage as Baby May in amateur shows. This little girl was a natural performer, and it wasn't long before she caught the attention of audiences. Her journey took her straight to the Gotham Theater, where Baby May was a sensation. From that moment on, she was hooked on the entertainment world forever. Mae West was already a paid performer, and she wasn't even a teenager yet. She knew she was destined for more than life as a Victorian housewife. In her autobiography, she wrote, I was a child of the new century, just around the corner. I was growing up fast, and my story was just beginning. Indeed, Mae West's story was just beginning. She would go on to become one of the most iconic actresses in Hollywood history, known for her sharp wit, sultry voice, and unforgettable performances. Her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, a testament to her enduring talent and impact on the entertainment world. Furthermore, Mae West always saw herself as a confident and strong woman. Just like her career in acting, she began early. There's a story that says when she wanted to start dating before she grew up, so she wouldn't have to worry about having babies too soon. She admitted, I seduced my 21-year-old music teacher when I was young, and told him it was no big deal because I'd already done it before. West's relaxed way of looking at love and relationships became a big part of who she was. When people tried to stop her, things usually got pretty crazy. You can tell she didn't worry about her reputation. When West's mom noticed she was spending too much time with one man, she told her to date others as well. When she had a crush on band leader Joseph Shank, her mom suggested she'd keep her options open. So West ended up dating every member of the band one by one. She never stuck with a boyfriend for more than a week or two because her stage career was her top priority. Very different advice from what I would give my daughter. Back in the day, when Mae West was just 17, she was already a big star in her hometown of Brooklyn. She was known for her sharp wit and confident stage presence, making her a tough act to follow. One night, she noticed a guy named Frank Wallace getting more applause than usual. Intrigued, she agreed to perform with him. People assumed that West was into romance, but she didn't mix love with work. While they practiced their act, Wallace sometimes tried to get romantic with her, but she always said no. That is, until one night, when she surprised him by jumping into his arms. From then on, they were a couple both on and off the stage. Their relationship lasted longer than West's usual ones, but maybe it should have ended sooner. During a 10-week tour, West and Wallace fell in love, or at least Wallace did. Their relationship was like their rehearsals, with Wallace asking West to marry him and her sometimes flirting with other people. Eventually, West agreed to marry him, and they ran away to Milwaukee. But marriage seemed to change things. On their first night as a married couple, West got her own hotel room. According to Wallace, things got worse, and he realized she wasn't ready to settle down like she promised. People said West was going on dates with local men, maybe five of them in Minneapolis. When Wallace talked to her about it, it didn't go well. It seemed that the actress was not ready to give up her freedom for marriage. Right from the beginning, the actress May West's marriage to Frank Wallace was far from typical for the time. In a world where husbands were expected to stay at home and wives to be confined indoors, May West craved her freedom. However, Frank was so deeply in love with her that he didn't want to upset the status quo and risk losing her. He knew that May West never even revealed their marriage to her family, and perhaps in her mind, the whole marriage didn't exist. The couple once mixed business with pleasure, but when it came to Wallace, West quickly backed away from the pleasure part of the deal. Soon after, he also distanced himself from the business aspect of their relationship. Despite showing him the door, May West's estranged husband, Frank Wallace, found his way back into her life. She pleaded with him for an annulment, but neither of them bothered with the legal process to end their marriage. This decision would come back to haunt them, as May West's unconventional lifestyle and refusal to conform to societal norms would continue to make waves in the entertainment industry. The story of this classic actress's strained marriage and divorce is a testament to her desire for independence and her refusal to be tied down by traditional expectations. After parting ways with her vaudeville partners, Mae West embarked on a solo career, during which she developed a distinctive image and act. She drew inspiration from the best female impersonators of the time, refining her look and performance. This unique approach led some to whisper that West might actually be a man beneath all the costumes and makeup. 
The actress's appearance was a significant part of her persona. She wore elaborate gowns, often with a corseted waist, and her hair was piled high in an elaborate style. This look, combined with her exaggerated makeup, led to speculation about her gender. But West didn't let these rumors deter her. Instead, she used them to her advantage, stirring up more scandalous whispers and keeping her audience guessing. Mae West's stage presence was just as distinctive as her appearance. She had a sultry, seductive voice and a confident, provocative demeanor. Her act was filled with double entendres and innuendo, pushing the boundaries of what was considered acceptable at the time. This boldness, combined with her unique look, made her a controversial figure, but it also made her a star. This was just the beginning of West's career, and she would continue to stir up scandals and push boundaries throughout her life. But no matter what she did, she remained true to her unique image and act, becoming an icon of her time. Mae West gained fame in the entertainment industry through her bold and daring persona. In an era where many performers played it safe, she stood out with her risque humor and unapologetic sexuality. However, her unconventional style was met with resistance from other performers who found her act too naughty. Some even went as far as accusing her of doing burlesque, which was a major insult in that time. Despite the backlash, Mae West remained steadfast in her approach. She recognized that other daring acts in the industry had a hard time, but she believed that sticking to her unique style would eventually pay off, and it did. As she continued to push boundaries, her popularity grew, and she became a household name. Interestingly, Mae West was not your typical Hollywood star with bad habits like smoking or drinking. She had a different kind of vice, her love for men, and her obsession with looking good. Her boldness extended beyond her act and into her personal life, where she was known for her confidence and her ability to attract the opposite sex. Despite the challenges she faced, Mae West remained unapologetic about who she was and what she did. She knew that her style was not for everyone, but she believed in it, and she was willing to fight for it. And in the end, her boldness and daring paid off, making her one of the most iconic figures in Hollywood history. Mae West, an actress ahead of her time, started making enough money to create her own act. She bought costumes and picked songs to perform, often in venues where people usually work together. But Mae West was different. She wrote her own act, a daring move for someone who had dropped out of school early. To perform her act, she teamed up with a man named Harry Richmond, who played the piano and said some lines. Mae West made him famous, but it wasn't always easy to work with her. If Harry started dating West, she'd fire him, so he tried to keep things professional, even though they liked each other. Their show was a hit at first, but Mae West grew upset with Harry and showed it on stage. Eventually, he gave in and she fired him the next day. No matter who performed with her, one thing was clear, Mae West always stole the show. This classic actress was a trailblazer, creating her own opportunities when none were available. She was a testament to the power of hard work and determination, proving that even in the face of adversity, one can succeed. Her impact transcended the world of entertainment, leaving a mark that continues to resonate today. Mae West's life was marked by a series of scandals and tumultuous relationships. One man who stood out in her life was her Italian lover, Mr. Didio. He was likely Guido Deo, a vil performer, and their relationship was filled with passion and jealousy. Mr. D, who was already married, wanted to marry May, but she was married to Frank Wallace at the time. To keep their affair a secret, May didn't use Mr. D's real name in her writing. However, their relationship put May in mortal danger, and she had to take precautions to protect herself. Despite these precautions, May became pregnant with Mr. D's child. Realizing she wasn't ready for marriage or motherhood, she made a difficult decision. The procedure went wrong, leaving May unable to have children and almost taking her life. Heartbroken, Mr. D ended their relationship. But May didn't dwell on the past for long. She quickly moved on and met James Timoney, who wasn't in show business. Timoney became May's biggest supporter and helped her get a secret divorce from Wallace. His support was essential for what was to come in May's career. Through it all, May remained resilient and continued to captivate audiences with her bold and scandalous persona. In her early career, May West was no stranger to Broadway. But one day, while driving by the waterfront, she noticed something that would change her life forever. Two sailors were looking for the company of a woman, and this sight sparked an idea in West's mind. Under the pen name Jane Mast, she began crafting a play centered around the adventures of a kind-hearted prostitute named Margie. She teamed up with a director who seemed equally captivated by her charm and writing. 
In fact, his constant admiration for her more alluring qualities led her to choose a straightforward title for the play. She simply called it Sex. Mae West had been on Broadway before, but this was her first time as the star of the show. People were talking about it, and sailors lined up to see it. Even though some people didn't like it, everyone went to see it. It became the most talked about show of the year, but of course, the backlash began behind the scenes. Another writer, Sam Mayweather, sued Mae West and her group for lots of money. But West didn't back down. She was the writer and the star of this provocative play, and it made her super famous. Although she was also known for the wrong reasons, Mae West once said, I became a writer because I needed stuff to work with and had no place to get it. She explained that she gave a guy a few bucks to write a play based on her idea, but it turned out so bad and dirty that she fired him. Then the newspapers started writing really angry articles about how bad the play was for people's morals. But none of that really bothered West. Every night, people came to watch, hoping for daring stories and spicy jokes, and that's exactly what they got. In just five years, Mae West went from being new to Broadway to being one of its most famous and infamous stars. But then, everything turned upside down in the blink of an eye, and the worst part was still coming. After the success of her play Sex, Mae West waited for someone to stop it, expecting it to be made illegal due to its controversial nature. However, week after week, nothing happened. Seizing the opportunity, she decided to push the boundaries even further. She wrote a new play, one she thought would be even more shocking. This time, she was inspired by the homosexual men and drag queens she had met in show business. She called it the drag. Despite never making it to Broadway, the drag was a big success. Interestingly, Mae West did not act in it. She let the characters in the play take center stage, which was quite unexpected from her. Soon, everyone was talking about her. Over the years, Mae West had heard all sorts of rumors about herself. Some said she was frigid, while others claimed she had both male and female private parts, or that she had surgery to change her gender. There were even those who believed she was a man pretending to be a woman. Some thought she never did anything romantic, while others held the opposite belief. This classic actress, known for her bold and provocative persona, had become a subject of much speculation and intrigue. Yet, she continued to push boundaries and challenge societal norms, making her an enduring icon in the world of entertainment. Mae West, the famous actress, found herself in hot water in 1927 due to her scandalous play, Sex. The play was a major hit, running for months, but trouble came knocking one night when the police arrested Mae and her fellow performers during a performance. Mae, however, saw this as an opportunity. She spent a night in jail and had her boyfriend, James Timoney, help protect the show for the next night. When the officers arrived the following evening, May showed them a restraining order and they charged her with making an immoral play. She faced it all with her signature style, dressing fancy, and declaring that her play was one of the cleanest on Broadway. The jury found them guilty and May waited for her punishment. She received 10 days in jail and a 500 fine, but she believed the attention was worth more. On April 19, 1927, May went to Roosevelt Island Jail, wearing her silk underwear, as she had demanded. When she entered a large dormitory, all the women began applauding, glad to see her. She didn't care for the use of her first name, but she figured if she could make them a less miserable mob, she was doing some good. Released eight days early for good behavior, May's stories about her time in jail, like wearing silk underwear and going on rides with the warden, made her a legend against censorship, a status she still holds today. Mae West, a successful actress on Broadway, made her way to Hollywood in the 1930s. There are differing opinions on how she made the transition, with some attributing it to her scandalous past and the studio's desire to capitalize on her fame, while others believe it was her old friend George Raft who helped her get there. Regardless of how she arrived in Hollywood, Mae West was no stranger to the spotlight. She had already made a name for herself on Broadway with her character Diamond Lil, which was a major hit. When she arrived in Hollywood, she played a similar character named Lady Lou in the movie She Done Him Wrong. This role solidified her status as a superstar. Paramount Pictures quickly signed Mae West to a lucrative two-year contract. In her first movie, she acted in her own unique way and became the star of the show. Her swift and seamless transition from Broadway to Hollywood was fortuitous for both the actress and the studio. The impact of the Great Depression on the industry meant that the studio needed her as much as she needed them. Her debut picture became a much-needed hit for Paramount. Mae West was known for being assertive and using her influence to make decisions. 
She even convinced the studio to hire an actor named Cary Grant, who was not yet famous, for a role in her movie. Additionally, she advocated for the casting of a black actor in the film, which was unusual at the time, and considered a risky move. However, it paid off, and Mae West became America's fifth most popular star, and the highest paid woman in the country. In a 1933 review, Variety declared her as hot, an issue as Hitler. In summary, Mae West transitioned from Broadway to Hollywood was swift and successful. She brought her unique style and character to the big screen and became a superstar. Her influence and assertiveness allowed her to make decisions and take risks that paid off in the end. During the Great Depression, when times were tough and Broadway shows were struggling, Mae West, an actress ahead of her time, found success in Hollywood. Even though she was already in her 40s, a time when many thought a woman's career in film was over, Mae West's unique persona and style made her a perfect fit for the silver screen. Mae West, with her corseted figure, extravagant clothing, and dripping diamonds, was the epitome of a New Yorker. She brought tough talk, irony, and sexual innuendo to her roles at a time when the United States drew its cultural inspiration from New York. With her classic New York attitude, she became the perfect depression diva, making audiences forget their troubles without asking them to deny their roots, sexuality, or the allure of the lush life. Despite the challenges of the time, Mae West's career took off in Hollywood. She was a shining star in an industry that was doing well, even as the rest of the country struggled. With her unique blend of humor, sex appeal, and wit, she captured the hearts of audiences and solidified her place in film history. In conclusion, Mae West's success in Hollywood during the Great Depression was a testament to her talent and appeal. Even when Broadway shows were struggling and many thought she was too wild for the movies, she persevered and became a classic Hollywood star. Her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, and she remains an icon of the golden age of Hollywood. Mae West, a trailblazing actress, faced significant challenges with censorship throughout her career. Initially, she encountered difficulties on Broadway, but the real trouble began when she ventured into Hollywood. People who took issue with certain movie contents had been making complaints, and these criticisms eventually escalated, causing serious problems. The situation grew so dire that a list was even created, labeling Mae West and other actors as box office poison. This was a significant blow to her career, as it negatively impacted her reputation and popularity. Despite having successfully navigated controversy in the past, this time it proved to be a much more formidable challenge. The controversy surrounding Mae West persisted, and she found herself at the center of a heated debate about what was acceptable in films. Despite these challenges, she remained defiant and continued to push boundaries, refusing to be silenced or held back by censorship. However, the constant battles with censorship took a toll on her career, and she struggled to maintain her previous level of success. Despite this, she remained a trailblazer and a symbol of resistance against censorship and oppression in Hollywood. The challenges that Mae West faced with censorship were significant and had a lasting impact on her career. However, her determination and refusal to be silenced made her a powerful symbol of resistance and a trailblazer for future generations of actors and filmmakers. In 1937, the actress Mae West made an appearance on the radio to discuss her movie Every Day is a Holiday. However, she ended up saying some things that made certain people uncomfortable. Complaints started pouring in, and the radio station became fearful. They placed the blame solely on Mae West and even forbade her from returning. Despite this setback, Mae West was not one to give up easily. Instead of adhering to the strict rules in Hollywood, she decided to explore a new avenue in Las Vegas. When she wasn't making movies, she returned to singing on stage and in nightclubs. This move proved to be successful, as people finally recognized her true talent. After being in showbiz for over two decades, Mae West had become a legend. However, being shut out of films by studios had been frustrating for her. This frustration was evident as she carried it with her. Despite the challenges she faced, Mae West's talent and perseverance allowed her to continue to thrive in the entertainment industry. Mae West, the renowned actress, never failed to surprise her audience. During her performances in Las Vegas, she introduced an unusual element to her shows. She brought a group of bodybuilders to join her on stage. This was not a common sight in those days, and it certainly added an unexpected twist to her performances. West had a keen eye for aesthetics, and she was particularly drawn to the strong, muscular bodies of these bodybuilders. She believed that other ladies in the audience would appreciate this spectacle as well. 
but little did they know, the actress herself found more than just aesthetic appeal in these muscular men. In a surprising turn of events, West fell in love with one of the bodybuilders. This revelation added a layer of intrigue to her already captivating performances. It was a testament to her open-mindedness and her ability to find beauty and connection in unexpected places. This classic story is a reminder that sometimes love and attraction can be found in the most unexpected places. And for Mae West, that place was on the stage of her Las Vegas performances surrounded by a group of bodybuilders. Mae West's journey to becoming one of the most iconic women of the 20th century is a fascinating study of how a girl from Brooklyn with humble beginnings mastered the cultural and moral landscape of her time. In an era marked by political turmoil, cultural experimentation, and strict repression between World War I, Prohibition, the Roaring Twenties, and the Great Depression, a sexual revolution coincided with the war, and contraception was discussed openly for fear. The first time, audiences craved sensuality in theater and movies, but censors wanted to suppress it. Mae West understood this conflict and skillfully straddled the line between what was allowed and what wasn't. She once said, censorship made me, and this became her truth. She was at the forefront of what was hot, introducing daring dances like the shimmy to audiences not entirely ready for them. She wouldn't let censors stop her, saying, my fight has been against depression, repression, and suppression. The actress was always one or two steps ahead of her time, knowing how to mix what people wanted with what was allowed. She wasn't going to let rules get in her way. This classic Hollywood figure was a master of her craft, introducing elements of sensuality and daring to her audiences in a way that was both captivating and just within the bounds of what was allowed. Even today, Mae West remains a pinup, a testament to her enduring influence and appeal. Her place in the cultural landscape of the early 1900s is a snapshot of an era, particularly the moral landscape, helping us understand her place in it and how she mastered it. Cary Grant once made a striking remark about Mae West, highlighting the extent to which the actress's career consumed her life. West's identity was so intertwined with her profession that she even reshaped her own history to fit her self-image. The star was known to make up stories about her family and deny past marriages. With a massive ego, she refused to work with the same director twice after her film Belle of the 90s, despite her fame. Although West was notorious for her inflated self-image, she did have some respect for Marilyn Monroe. Acknowledging Monroe's unique charm, West couldn't resist adding that Monroe had copied her. The actress was also known for her sharp tongue, often insulting other Hollywood stars like Clara Bow, Rita Hayworth, and Elizabeth Taylor. Despite her massive ego, West remained an enigma in many ways. After a Broadway performance, she once told the highly accomplished Catherine Cornell, Thanks honey, hope I can say the same for you sometime. This statement suggests that West's ego was a driving force in her life, pushing her to constantly outdo herself and her contemporaries. Throughout her career, West was determined to maintain control over her image and inner thoughts, revealing very little about herself. This was just how she wanted it, leaving her fans and critics to wonder what lay behind her carefully crafted persona. The actress's massive ego, sharp tongue, and unwavering determination made her a true superstar and her legacy continues to captivate audiences to this day. Mae West, an actress known for her bold and confident persona, was a determined and relentless woman who wasn't afraid to embrace her unique self. She had a knack for hiding her true self, often hiding behind layers of makeup and a tough exterior. But if we look closer, we can catch glimpses of her inner life. Born in 1893, Mae West was always a performer at heart. She started her career in show business at a young age and quickly made a name for herself as a bold and unapologetic actress. She wasn't afraid to speak her mind or stand up for what she believed in, even if it meant ruffling a few feathers along the way. Mae West films and shows often featured strong, liberated women who weren't afraid to take charge. She was a trailblazer in many ways, paving the way for future generations of actresses to boldly embrace their unique selves. Despite her tough exterior, Mae West had a softer side that she occasionally let show. She was fiercely loyal to her friends and loved ones and was known for her generosity and kindness. She was a complex woman with many layers to her personality. Mae West left us with a valuable lesson remember to boldly embrace your unique self, stand up for what you believe in, and make your own path in life. She was a true original and her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. So the next time you're watching one of this classic actress's films or shows, take a moment to appreciate the layers of complexity and depth that she brought to her roles.
Mae West was a true original, and her legacy continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. And now on to the next video, why were Carol Lombard's scandals kept under wraps? I'm curious to hear what you think.